Back at the Super 6 Challenge, Alabama and Denver through two complete rotations. So numerically, they lead. The story in that rotation, Alabama bouncing back. Georgia, Florida, Oklahoma, and Oregon State with one rotation. But now, Florida will be on vault. Georgia on bars. Oregon State on beam. Oklahoma on floor. Alabama and Denver get the box. So a chance to even it up here. Along with Kathy Johnson-Clark, I'm Chris Marlowe, and we're going to pick up the Florida Gators. This is Katie Rue, one of the air talented freshmen. She's from Reisterstown, Maryland. Level 10 national champion, uh, last seven years. And so far, Florida's doing pretty well, particularly their freshmen easing into their collegiate careers. We mentioned Rhonda Fain, uh, their assistants, Randy Lane, Lewis Robinson Jr., and Lindsey Miner. So they put together a good staff, recruiting well, a program, as I mentioned, in the top on the move. Pachinko ball, the full twist, a little bit close to the horse. Not quite the height we've seen earlier in the competition from Georgia, who really blasted off the horse. He's cleaning up in the air. Not quite as explosive right here. Really need to block and take it up. See, her feet are just level with the horse. In fact, her head is below the level of the horse before her landing. So not quite as dynamic. Her teammate, Brianne King, led off, got a 9-7-7-5. So the Gators start with a 9-7-7-5. Evans got a 9-4-0 as we await the score for Katie Rue. So we're three in to Florida's rotation as we get set for Orly Smooch. How come Spooch didn't go to UCLA if she's from Los Angeles? I don't know. Solid recruiting. She went to warm weather, too. <laughs> she dragged to leave warm weather and go to cold. Much higher vault. You can see immediately off the horse. Better block. The different vault. The half twist off front layout out. Another common vault. Too often. A little more difficult to land. You don't see the ground. But by the end of the season, you see a lot more stuck landings on this ball. Rue got a 9-7. So Rue got a good score. And we await Orly Smooch. So the Gators trying to pick up some points. King got a 9-7-7-5. Evans a 9-4. They would like to throw that one out if they can. Rue got a 9-7. Smooch is waiting for her score. And the Southeastern Conference Region Co-Coach of the Year, Rhonda Fain, back towards us. Turn around, Rhonda, over here. Smooch got a 985. 985 for Smooch. So you talked about, what do they call that, amplitude or altitude? <laughs> amplitude. I guess it's a little bit of both, okay. but uh, amplitude is the word that we use in gymnastics. Good height off the horse. All right, here comes Samantha Lou from Grove City, Ohio. Oh! Nice and front pie. Woo, very nice landing, but I have to tell you, it's not worth as much. So they start at a deficit. It's scored from a 9.9. .9, so already a tenth of a point down. That's the importance of all these teams really trying to get their 10-0 balls in there. She has a half twist of this. She's got a 10-0 ball. And can't take away that landing. Ha-ha, that puts a big smile on your face. Vault scores for the Gators so far. King, Rue, and Smooch. They'd like to use those three, Lutz and Dooley, if they can, and throw out Evans, who has the low score at the moment. Savannah Evans, a 5-2 freshman from Destin, Florida. And we're going to stay right with the ball. Luke's got a 9.75, so here is Aaron Dooley. I don't know if you remember this. Aaron yep. Dooley is a freshman right before the Super 6 Challenge. Went down with an injury. Yep. Broken leg. There you go. Full twist. Yurchenko, again, not as high as some of the ones we've seen. Very pretty in the air. So it won't get the huge score, but it'll get a nice one. She's such a nice technique. Very well-trained athlete. Legs together, a little bit low. As you can see, when they finish that twist and their head's below the level of the horse, it's a little bit low. We've seen some of the bigger balls finish above the level of the horse. Florida set four team records a year ago. They had eight All-Americans. Let's go over the bars for a moment. And the Georgia Gym Dogs are performing. 
A lot of excitement there at the uneven bars. This is typically their weaker event. And so they said they were really trying with their recruits to bring in good bar workers. Kinsey Rowe led off with a 9-8. Coupette's got a 9 8 2 one Ackerman Fell. Ackerman Fell got a 9.15. We're waiting on the score for Tomei. Like you're not used to going up that high. It's a nice Very nice Very nice Actually, this is part of the drive for the beginning. The turning is still there. See? Yeah, and the handstands aren't quite out. You're a little hollow and your toes hang behind. They don't go over your head. You know? Yeah, that's just important right now. This is what's coming out with a book and in the next have. year detailing gymnastics in the Southeastern Conference, particularly Georgia, rivalry with Alabama, and all the goodies that go with it. She was just telling her what it's all about. They've got to see those handstands. <laughs> she was a little short. That's what she's telling me. Tomei went. We're waiting for her score. Tomei got a 9.775, and this is Kelsey Erickson, a freshman from Cincinnati. And Suzanne is excited about her freshman. Interesting story. She was a walk-on. She turned down some scholarships to some other schools, but she's worthy of a scholarship. Georgia wants to throw out Ackerman's 9.15 as we wait for the score for Erickson. She gets a 9-9. A 9-9 for the freshman, Kelsey Erickson. See what a landing will do for you? Yeah, that's a scholarship-type score, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Kathy Jensen Park. And now we wait for Chelsea Bird, and she is worth waiting for. Senior from Little Rock. She was a second team All-American on this event as a freshman. Okay. You love that skill, the high ball. That's really cool. Yeah. Aaron Dooley of Florida got a 9-7 for her ball to round up the score for the Gators. She's a little bit short on her handstands. It depends on how stingy the judges want to be. They seem a little open. So the handstands are not quite being right there. Yeah. 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 What makes it difficult is it's riskier. You put that handstand right in the vertical. You could go the wrong way. So it's really what they're looking for. A little step back on double layout. Very easy routine. She, she does it so effortlessly. So Georgia with some outstanding performance. Some outstanding performances on bars. Suzanne Yachtman likes what she sees, but up next, the Crimson Tide, ready to roll. Stay with us. 